Okay, come on. I'm the trader. Come on. Come on, you're lambing following you. Good morning to you guys, welcome back to the channel. The sun is shining. It's in my eyes at the moment. I'm here looking at these horned sheep, trying to get a look at them, but they're just running away from me. Like I can't even get close enough to them. There's a sheep at the front of the bunch. I was just a wee bit worried looking at her because she's just walking like there's something shoved up her hole. So I'm wondering, oh, is she trying to lamb or trying to put the reed out or what's the story? I've got three yos with me from home. You would have seen that. They are heading back up to where we are lambing the crossbreds but I'm just checking these on the way up I do kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a circuit south of Sligo town that's them there bolting off hopefully if I walk through them a bit more they'll start to get used to me going through them your lamb here lamb is down whether he's just lambed or dead oh no I see movement I see movement. Oh, she's just sleeping. She actually lambed yesterday. I think she was actually on the last vlog. But just really quickly for a quick glimpse. But he's 100%. He's just lying in the sun, aren't you, mate? Loving life. Great to see a bit of good weather. Sunny day today, it's brilliant. This is when outdoor lambing is at its best, you know, in weather like this. They're outside and they're healthy and there's minimal work with them. Like provided that they push them out all right and the O has milk for them. And it's just great, it's brilliant. But then when the weather turns, it's not nice. I went back to the Jeep there just to throw off the hat and jacket because it's too warm for it now today, which is great. I also went to get an injection for that yo that's in this you would have seen her in the last vlog she's quite lame she's lamb now and she has the two lambs and the two lambs are still young and she's kind of hanging around them so it might leave her a wee bit easier cut but i should still bring the dog with me i forgot the dog at least she's in the jeep <laughs> Jeez. this is the girl just a very sore foot so See if we can help her out. Lambs are a bit quicker since yesterday. She won't be that easy caught. Casey. Casey, come on, walk on. Walk on. Casey, come here, Casey. Just need to get her. Oh, oh, oh. Injection, aren't you? Casey, come here. Casey, come. She's away from the lambs now. We'll catch her. Cause you only hurt the lambs. Wait, wait. Oh. Ah, damn it. Come by, come by. Here, here. Come by, come by. Come by. Here, come by, come by. Here, here. Quick turns. Good girl, good girl. You have her, you have her. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, lie down. I'll do, I'll do. I don't know. Oh. help a bit. Oh, your lambs are that way. I should get back around to them eventually. We're staying together anyway. Biggest danger is she'd grab one and walk off with one. Casey, come here! Casey, that'll do. That'll do, Casey! Contrast that last sheep to this yo. Look at that. Stamping the foot. Not even taking a backward step against the dog. She might be a bit afraid of me now if I went a bit closer, but. Casey, shh, shh. walk on, walk on. Casey, walk on. Shh. Casey, come on. Good sheep. She's not gonna let any dog or fox near her lamb. Casey, come on, Casey. Leave them at it. Three yos and four lambs away. 
that's the wrong pair but she might might figure it out yes we're good oh that is a brilliant that is a brilliant day just lap it up lap it up now when you get it because oh, it doesn't because it doesn't last forever in ireland looking at sheep that are left to lamb here and there's not many there's this black one here she's a young enough sheep a few hoggets a few sheep that dad bought in the winter time that are lambing later than this bunch but they're mostly lambed they're mostly lambed here they're down to 10 or less so it's time to get them out of here whatever's left to them it's time to move them because here this land is a half an hour or 35 minutes away from home and it's out of the way it isn't really close to any of our other spots where we uh where i'd be checking sheep on the circuit so yeah we need to just sign off on it you know get all the sheep that are left to lamb out of here for all that there is there's about eight or nine probably or ten and then at least then you'll only have to look at them once a week or once twice a week or, you know look at them on a sunday or whatever because to make sure nothing's caught or anything like that or there's no problems but they're you know when the lambs are out on their feet and they're healthy that's 90 percent of the health issues over with so we're here in Glenif and I've got Star Young Farm with me Heather Ann Heather Ann said she wanted to be in a video and I said if you're happy enough to come lambing 12 hours a day you can be in as many videos as you want <laughs> you ready for action Heather Ann yep so we're here in Glenif we're going to move a few of my ewes just across the road they're up here on the brae um, I'm not going to go gathering the whole brae, I'll just probably just scoop some off the bottom. We'll bring them across the road and put them down because there's you know a nice few up here just to get the numbers right for lambing. They're due to start lambing today. Um, there could be one or two of them lamb, but it just we're going to go nice and gently. We'll bring a few down. Um, but while we're doing that, we're going to get them into the pin. And I'm just going to then hold them there for 10 or 15 minutes because I figure while I have a few in, I may as well get a dung sample of them. So Heather Ann is going to be on the job picking up the dung sample because we don't have any gloves. That's the job. No panic, take these girls nice and easy since they're heavy. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Walk on. Lay down. And now we wait. Heather Ann's like, why are we waiting for them to poo? Would Port Devaney, did you ever see Port Devaney do any dung sampling? No. No. What, what did he, what do you think he'd think of dung sampling? He'd probably think it's stupid. Rightio, so we've got the drone. We'll put her in the air now and see what the crack is. See if any sheep have lambed. Okay, so we have a, uh, you want a horned lamb? No issue there. She's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> hey, no swearing on YouTube. <laughs> Only me. Oh, she's, right. Can't see the lamb there because she's in the she's standing in the way of it. Yeah. There we go. We now oh, look he's got white legs. That's not like the Mayo's we have. Wherever that breeding is coming out of. God, I really should be doing this even if the sheep weren't lamb. Look at the views. See if you can see out into Sligo there. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous. Into Glencairn on into Sligo and Sligo Bay. Kyle, did you wake up this morning and think you're gonna pick up sheep? Sheep shot. I did, probably, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't the first thing that came into my head, but I knew it was on the list. Yeah. Still you have to get enough from enough sheep to actually have a decent sample. Still didn't bring gloves. I reckon about 10 sheep, I think. Lay down, lay down, Casey. Lay down. Casey's mad to get out here. So we're at the local department lab 
and I'm going to give in these dung sam dung dumb. I know it's dumb, isn't it? Dung samples. <laughs> I haven't actually done this before. Um, but yeah, they want I wanted to put them in these containers, so I got a couple of them. But I intend to do this more often. I'm going to do it with Dad's flock too a bit. I think um, you know Dad wouldn't be a big believer in this. He's a routine doser, and that's fair enough. And you sure look, you could be right. Um, but it's just interesting. I just why I like it. Um, well, number one, I'm organic, and I'm supposed to do like more evidence-based dosing now, which is basically actually find that there's something wrong with the sheep with the sheep before you dose them. You know, like get evidence that there's fluke before you dose them with fluke. That's sort of one of the principles of being an organic farmer. But it's just good too, just to have info. I find like it would be a little bit of hassle, but then again, will it be too that much hassle? Like when you're working with sheep, just get a dung sample. Like the lab is here, like I'd be driving by it regular. Like can just drop it in and then just find out. Like if you're going, if you know you're going doing a big job with sheep in a couple of days, maybe if you're just up there a couple of days before, just run in a few sheep, wait for 10 minutes, get a dung sample off them, bring it into the lab. Then you find out what they have and what they don't have. So that'll inform you as to what to treat them with. And then maybe, you know, if you're wondering about resistance or wondering about the effectiveness of certain products, then just give them a dung sample maybe a week or two weeks after you actually dose them with something and find out did it get a good kill so like it's just it's info it's info it's data and like more info can't hurt i'm here at the gate i don't have anyone to open it i think i might just put up the drone <laughs> I know, in fairness, I did actually plan to use the drone here because it's coming near sunset. I checked the sheep here and the view out of here is absolutely amazing. But GoPro camera just doesn't really do it justice. But you're out here on the other side of Sligo and you can see Ben Bulbin in the distance there. And Sligo Bay as well. The tide is actually quite well out, and see if you turn to the left, then you can see Donegal is way off in the distance there, those hills. I thought we'd get a bit of a sunset here, but it's just watery enough looking, it's a wee bit cloudy, I think. But Coney Island is out there, it's an island in the middle of it there, you can see, just off the coast. You can actually drive out to it when it's like that, when the tide is out. But yeah, it's absolutely amazing, it's unreal. Down into Strand Hill here which is a good surf spot. I've been bulbing us off in the distance. And that road is the Strand Hill Sligo Road. And it'll bring you on into Sligo Town, which is, I suppose, my hometown. I'm only actually, even though we're out in the sticks, we are actually only 10 minutes away from Sligo Town, which is pretty good, yeah. It's a good, I like that. I like being in the country, but not being miles from anywhere either. I think that's a good combo. You're out in Strand Hill, kind of Knocknerae here. And then this is Knocknerae, um, they call it a mountain. I wouldn't call it a mountain, to be honest. It's a, yeah, it's a naturally occurring speed bump. That's what it'd be more like. It's only a little small rock. <laughs> but it's lovely though. It looks nice, eh? You can see that there. Just kind of slopes up into a, a wee bit of a half mountain. And then on out to the west there, you see the Ox Mountains in the distance and you're heading out towards South Sligo and Mayo there. Just checking the fields at home. They were checked earlier in the day, a couple of times I think. Name you here. So they're spitting them out here at home. Dad says that they were checked in the morning or checked kind of in the morning but then around lunchtime as well. And then in the afternoon, by the afternoon, four sheep had lamped. And there was a fist one with the water bag out. I think the guys came down, came down and actually helped her to land. But yeah, they've really started with a bang here in these couple of fields. See if we get the money shot there. That's nice. Ben Bulbin in the background. What you love to see. One more wee one hiding down here in the corner, in the trees. Pretty good spot. Two nice shepherd lambs. Not long after dropping them. And that's your mum. Oh, and that's your mum. Go back to mum. 
Right, I'll leave you at it. You probably want to settle down for the night. Go on. Go on. Better let Casey out. It was quite a good day today. She didn't actually get much action today at all. Not much time spent catching chicks. Hey, Casey. Bit of a quiet day for you. Huh? That was a good day. Good weather. And things went roughly speaking to plan. So it's great to get those. But um, yeah, there's a bit of bad weather coming about the weekend. This is Wednesday the 3rd of April and apparently Friday and Saturday are going to be two terrible days. And the sheep are spitting the lambs out now. So yeah, it's going to be a hectic weekend. We'll have to just get ready for it. I'll get in and see if I can try and edit this video and get it out for the morning, guys. Thanks a million for watching. We'll see you, hopefully tomorrow, for the next one.